Hello everyone, so we're going to be thinking about instructions again today and the features of instructions. So we're going to be thinking about adverbs. We're going to be able to say what adverbs are, we're going to be able to say some examples, and then we're going to have a go at using some of them in some sentences. So to help us learn about adverbs, we've got this character called Adil Adverb. And he says, my name is Adil Adverb. You'll often find me close to Veronica Verb. I love to describe her actions. So remember, verbs are actions and adverbs tell us more about them. So in this sentence, it says, Veronica Verb always laughs loudly and she runs quickly. So the verbs in that, that sentence are laughs and runs. That's what she's doing. And then we've got the words loudly and quickly because loudly tells us about her laugh and quickly tells us about her running. And then it says again that it tells you more about a verb. It tells you why, when or how much something is done. So if you have a look at this sentence, can you spot the adverb? So Jessica shouted loudly. So it says that the verb is in purple and the adverb is in blue. So Jessica shouted and the adverb is loudly because it's telling us how she shouted. So we've got another example now. Isabel tried hard. So you might want to pause the video and think, what is the adverb? So the adverb here is hard because it tell us, tells us how she tried. She tried. How did she try? She tried hard. Let's have another one. So Abigail threw the ball up. So what's the verb, what's the action, and where is the word that's telling us about it? So the verb is in purple because she threw the ball up. And then the blue bit, up, that is the adverb because it tells us how she threw the ball. Because we could just say Abigail threw the ball, the word up tells us in which direction. So some adverbs are made by adding ly onto the end of a word. Some people say adverbs always end in ly. And they don't. A lot of them do, but not all of them. So here we've got kind plus ly makes kindly. Lily smiled kindly. She smiled, but how did she smile? She smiled kindly. Here we've got careful. If we put ly on the end, we get carefully. Daniel coloured the picture. How did he colour it? He coloured it carefully. So some adverbs can tell us where things are happening. Liam ran upstairs. Liam ran. Where did he run? He ran upstairs. So that means it's the adverb. And here we have some more examples here, there and above. So some adverbs describe how an action is happening. Helen laughed. How did she laugh? She laughed nervously. So nervously is the adverb in this sentence. Some more examples would be quickly, loudly. Then we have where, when, sorry, an action is happening. The penguins swam. When did they swim? Yesterday. So that is the adverb. The penguins swam yesterday. And we have got some more examples there of time. So we've got earlier, later and today. Some adverbs describe how often an action is happening. So the lion roared. How often did it roar? Daily, so every day. Daily is the adverb in this sentence. Some other examples here are weekly, always and sometimes. So you can see all of these adverbs are adding extra information in different ways. And another, this one's describing how much Amy tried hard to finish her homework. So the fact that she's trying hard, that word hard is the adverb because it's telling us more about how hard, you know, how much she tried. Some other examples here, we've got very, completely and almost. So you should now have a little bit of an idea about adverbs. So remember, you don't have to completely get it today. I just want you to start to be able to identify them. So you need to find the sheet in your pack that is called adverbs. So on that sheet, there are lots of sentences. So the first task that you've got to do on that sheet is to read the sentences and then it's up to you. You can either highlight if you've got a nice highlighter 
You can draw a circle or you can underline the adverb in each sentence. Remember, if you're not sure, you could always go back and watch the video again with the different examples and different types of adverb. Then once you've done that, you've got some sentences that need an adverb adding in to give a bit more information. So I have put a word bank on the sheet. You can use that if you want to. If you're feeling brave, you could have a go at thinking of some of your own adverbs to add the extra information. And once you've finished, you can send us a picture because next week we're going to be writing our own instructions and thinking how we can use adverbs to make our instructions to better to add extra information. So good luck. Remember, if you get stuck, you can watch this video again and we'll see you later.